I was uh, brought up in a, in a mining town by a family that had been deported. Um, a, a, a family that was uh, a very cautious in, in how we presented ourselves uh, simply because at that time, the 1950s, you didn't go around saying I'm undocumented. Uh, God knows what could happen to you. I went to the uh, army when I was very young. I come from a family where no one had ever gone to college. Uh, no one had ever, I mean, that wasn't sort of part of the ambition of the family. The great Burton Barr and I, and Governor Babbitt, worked together for a decade. Uh, in a, in a great sense, transforming the state, uh, uh, transforming the universities, transforming the community college system, the freeways, uh, uh, access, uh, all of that came about in this flurry of activity that lasted about a decade. He was a war hero, first of all, and I was uh, your day-by-day -day grunt. Uh, but, but he was an extraordinary war hero, he had great leadership capacity and, and he was a daily model for me on, on, on integrity, on, on hard work and on vision. At the legislature there is a function almost every day given by every special interest group you can think of. At that time the Mining Association gave the most splendiferous party and I attended it. And I came back, and the next day, Bert said to me, what the hell are you doing? Uh, I said, well, I don't know. They were giving away free shrimp. <laughs> and, uh, and he said, do you want to compromise you? What they're doing to you is slowly, slowly grooming you to sell out, to lose your independence and lose your integrity. I have been an outspoken and consistent uh, advocate for immigration reform and for uh, the, the, the just treatment of uh, Im immigrants and refugees in this country. It's a little too soon for that, you know, I'm 73 years old, but I have, uh, I, I, I haven't, I haven't, some of my friends, some of my friends who are you know, 65, 70, et cetera, have something happened in their heads. You know, there's been a little switch when they begin to slow down. They begin to stay home and watch daytime TV. Uh, they begin to golf. Uh, it's a sad scene to watch a 70-year-old try to learn how to golf. Uh, I, that switch hasn't, hasn't gone on me yet. I, I'm still ambitious to do many, many things. When I start thinking about my legacy, you'll know that the switch went on and I'm probably watching daytime TV. That isn't <laughs> gonna happen soon. Yeah.